Most knowledge workers will attend 62 meetings every single month on average, half of which they consider to be a complete waste of time. In addition to that, 92% of people report multitasking during meetings, so they're not even present. And with that being said, think about all of the productivity loss that comes from coordinating meetings, doing the reports, managing cloud recordings. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 most common automations with Bardeen.ai to save you at least one hour a week with managing your meetings workflows. So if you're not a user yet, sign up at Bardeen.ai and let's dive into the demo. Number one, launching the next meeting automatically. Do you ever run to meetings late or completely get carried away and forget about them? Well, you no longer have to do this. The automation is called join next meeting. So it's going to automatically find the meetings that are in your calendar. Let's click on run this. And there we have the next calendar event launched. But the coolest thing is that we can schedule this command to be run automatically by going to the automations tab and here we can say when next meeting is in say one minute and then we can run the playbook then join the next meeting so here we have the automation and the tab will open up and all of the meetings links will get launched Number two is creating a meeting agenda in Google Sheets in a given time period. All the sales folks that have to do reporting are going to love this one. So let's try this out. We're going to create a meeting agenda in Google Sheets. And then here we need to specify the, the period of time for which we want to create the agenda for. So let's say May 1st, and then we want to define the end date, say tomorrow and create a new sheet, say agenda. That's what it's going to be called. Let's run this playbook. And here we have the meeting agenda for that period of time. We can click on view right here and see all of the events that we've had thus far. Okay, there we have it. So reporting is going to take from 20 minutes to just 30 seconds. Number three is looking up social profiles of people you're about to have a phone call with. If you're like me, you probably have a calendar link and a lot of meetings just end up on your calendar and you're not exactly sure how they ended up there and who the people are. So let's take a look. We're going to type social and then here we can look up the social profiles of the current event participants. Let's click on run this and here we have a meeting with myself. I can click on Twitter to see the person on Twitter. I can do the same with LinkedIn, GitHub, etc. But say the person is running a little bit late and you want to nudge them and send them a link. You can click on option dot and say, we're waiting in the meeting room. I'm going to click on execute. And here we just send an email with the meeting link to join. The meeting link is going to be relative to whichever meeting is in the current calendar event. We can also send an SMS with the meeting link. So let's type in the phone number of the meeting participant. There we have it. And boom, an SMS was sent just like that. So by now people have already joined the meeting and say we're doing a screen share and we're looking at different websites. What if I want to share a particular link with the meeting participants? I'm going to click on Bardeen once again to open the main window and I'm going to click on send current page URL and say current meeting, current event. And we're going to send the current page URL to the meeting participants and people have received this URL in the email. So here's the URL. But say something lives behind the paywall. Maybe you are looking at a candidate's profile and sharing a link is just not enough. In that case, you want to create a PDF and you want to share it with the current meeting participants. So we can share current page as a PDF with the current meeting participants, just one click automation, and we can click run this playbook. And we're going to capture this page as a PDF and send all of the participants an email with that particular visual. We can do exactly the same thing with Slack. Let's click on option B and type PDF and find the share current page as PDF on Slack and mention Slack users from the current event. Let's click run this and all of the participants of the current meetings are going to receive a Slack message. So let's click on view Slack team. And here, since I'm messaging to myself, it will show up under the demo account. So here we have the screenshot. Now say we want to send all of the event participants some information via Slack or email. I'm going to click on option B 
and I'm going to send email to current event participants. So current event participants, and here I get to say the subject line, very important note, and then specify the body. Here's the dummy body, let's click on run this, and all of the meeting participants are going to receive an email with the information. We need, we need to open the tabs and copy paste each person's email. We can do the exact same thing with Slack. So let's Slack message the current event participants, the current event participants, and let's say something really cool. Let's run this once again. And we can go to Bardeen over here, and here is our message. And finally, here is my favorite one. If you use Notion for everything like I do, you can create a record of the meeting in a database. Let's click on option B and let's write create and open a new Notion page for current event. Let's specify the database, meeting notes. And let's click on run this. And all of the information from the current event just showed up here. And if we go to the meeting notes, it just added a new record. The database. And this were the top 10 meeting workflow automations that will save you at least one hour every single week. Remember that just 10 minutes saved every day will amount to 43 hours, which is an entire work week worth of time in the course of a year. Bradina is the only human in the loop automation tool where you get to click on things and input variables in order to do the things that usually require you copy pasting information and shuffling between tabs. So if you're not a user yet, go to bradina.ai and I will see you there. Cheers.